Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm so, so excited. Hold on, I need to open this door because I feel like there's more of an echo when the door is closed. But anyways, I'm super excited because Loving Tan just came out with a new set of self tanners and I had to get my hands on at least one to try for you guys and see how it is. So this is the Loving Tan Purist Tanning Mousse, obviously in the dark. It was the darkest shade I could get. So we are going to be reading up on this, seeing what it's supposed to do. We're gonna try it out, see what it actually does. And then I'm gonna let you know if I think it's worth your money. So before we get started, please give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel, you guys. It really helps me out, it means the world to me. You get three videos a week, so please don't miss out. But if you wanna see me review this self tanner, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay guys, like I said, this is brand new. Literally, I got an email from Loving Tan saying like join the wait list or like, um, yeah, I joined the wait list and then it sent me an email like a couple days later saying like early access to get them. So I immediately, immediately got this and I think my next one that I'm gonna buy is gonna be the face one because I really, really wanna try that too. So I'm so excited about this. I love Loving Tan so freaking much. So obviously I jumped on the idea of this. So I have it pulled up on their website because that's where I got it. One more time, it is the Loving Tan Purist Tanning Mousse in dark. It's 100 milliliters, so that's 3.3 ounces, which is like half of what the normal, like standard size of a self tanner is. And this is $39.95, so it's about 40 bucks for half the product. So this is very, very pricey, but if it's anything like the other Loving Tan self tanners, I think it's worth it because they are amazing. And then it also says, 97% certified organic, naturally derived, made from 97% certified organic and naturally derived ingredients. And then it says the purest, tan uh, purest tanning mousse is formulated using over 97%, I'm gonna read that again, I guess, 97% certified organic and naturally derived ingredients to provide you with a natural looking tan within minutes. Infused with cocoa, papaya, and pomegranate extracts, this nourishing formula rejuvenates your skin while your tan develops. It is both quick drying and delicately fragrant. And then it's suited for medium to dark skin types. Dermatologically tested. Applications per bottle, it says five plus applications. We will see. And then why it's loved, it has a natural olive color. It's natural in our green. I cannot talk today. <laughs> Organic, professional strength, enriched with antioxidants, tinted color guide, my favorite, dry touch, uh, probably Australian made, dermatologically tested, cruelty free, and vegan friendly. And then for the how to use, it says after six to eight hours rinse it off so you have to wait at least six to eight hours it is not an express tan so don't wash it off super early but yeah obviously so far it is on the pricier side it's loving tan i was not expecting anything less but i'm very very interested in like this whole idea of like pure natural naturally derived ingredients because i feel like just that in general is becoming bigger and bigger, not only with self tanners, but with makeup, with food, with literally everything. So I can appreciate the brands like trying to come out with cleaner products to sell to people. So I'm very excited about this. Um, packaging is very cute. It's not like your typical pink and black loving tan. It's like a white gold and brown but I also really love this. It's like very classy, it's like pearly, it's like right up my alley of what I love. So super cute, A plus for packaging. And that's really all I have. So I guess we could just start applying and then I will give you guys like the rundown of what I think after I've applied. I already have a facial self tanner on as usual. Um, so this is going neck down. So let's get started and then we will talk.
Okay guys, I just finished applying where I wanted you to see and I do have some thoughts. First thing I thought when I pumped it out into the mitt was the color is beautiful. It's literally a golden brown just from the color guide. So I absolutely love that. Like I feel like with Loving Tan Self Tanners, it's so weird because they say they have an olive tone, but even with the other ones, I've always felt like they gave off more of like a little bit of a reddish but really like a true golden kind of like sun-kissed just came back from vacation kind of tan to me it's not olivey and like even with the color guide even with the color later i never see olive just like today like i feel like this is nowhere near olive to me i think it looks like a true in the middle like brown which i think is a really good thing because i love that so a plus for that I will say the color guide is not as dark as I thought it was going to be, which kind of shocked me. Like when I started applying everywhere, I was like, oh my God, that's like way lighter than I thought it was going to be. So I was still able to see it. I was still able to like blend it in everywhere that I needed to, but I'm hoping that it still gets me good color tomorrow because a lot of times I feel like with self tanners, the like how dark the color guide is kind of like gives you a little hint of how dark the color is going to be the next day. So I'm just hoping that this one like gets me really, really dark anyways. Other thing is the smell. So it smells like chocolate. Like when I pumped it out and I smelled it, I was like, yeah, that smells like you could smell the cocoa in there. Um, but after you like initially smell the chocolate, it kind of goes away and then it has a weird smell afterwards. So I don't know. I like it and I don't like it at the same time. So we'll see <laughs> throughout the night how I feel about that. Right now I'm like iffy about it. I'm 50-50. I like the initial smell and then I don't like what comes next. So we'll see. Super easy to apply though. Super quick and easy to blend in. Like no streakiness, no nothing. It looks so natural. This is definitely the kind of self tanner you could put on and then if you need to go run errands, you could gladly do it because it just looks like your color. It doesn't look like crazy green or crazy orange or anything like that. It looks very natural, so I love that about it. And then it doesn't feel too sticky. I will say just like in this area, it does still feel a little bit sticky, but it's not bad. Like it feels comfortable. So that's really all I have for right now. So far, I'm really enjoying it. There are a couple things that I'm like eh, about, but overall, I'm excited. So I'm gonna go sleep on this right now. And then once I wake up, I'm gonna come back, show you guys the final result after I wash it off. And I'll let you know if I think it's worth your money. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, I am back. It's the next day. Here is my tan. As you can see by the huge smile on my face, this is a winner, you guys. Oh my God, I love this color so much. This got me so much darker than I was expecting it to. Like last night, I was worried that the color guide, since it wasn't very dark, I was worried the tan itself was not gonna be very dark because of that. But when I woke up this morning and I pulled the sheets off of me, I looked down at my legs and I was like, that's a lot of color. So as soon as I washed it off of my body, like a lot of that color stayed and I was so, so happy because this really, really did get me dark. So I'm a very happy girl right now. Only thing I will say, I wouldn't necessarily say it's like not sticky because I did still feel that stickiness right here in this area. And then like the back of my knees, I also felt it like when I was walking and stuff. So there are like certain parts of your body that might feel a little bit sticky, but overall it was comfortable everywhere else. Super even, super natural, no streakiness. It literally looks like just a natural tan. Again, I don't personally think it's an olive tan. I think it's more of like a brown, like a golden tan, but I love that because I prefer that over olive anyways. So I'm very excited. Obviously this is a huge yes for me. The only downside to it is I feel like I like used up a lot of product. Like this doesn't feel like I would get a ton of uses out of it. So that's my only like issue with it because it is pricey and it's like half the size of what other self tanners are. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, 
I really love it. Like, I love the color I got. I feel so good with the tan I have right now. I'm just really happy. So it's a big yes. And I think I'm going to have to compare this and like the regular loving tan self tanners to see like what the similarities and differences are. So let me know if you guys want to see that, but that's all I've got for today. So comment and let me know your thoughts on how this looks on me, what you think about how it turned out. Let me know what other self tanners you guys want me to review. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.